Hey guys, real quick before this video starts, I just want to say Happy New Year to all you guys, especially my subscribers. I mean, oh fuck. Especially my subscribers. As some of you may know, I got sick literally on the first day of 2023. What a way to start the new year, right? <laughs> Who's next? I'm ready! How about you? Now I've got a little bit more to say, but I'm gonna save it towards the end of the video. And just wanted to say Happy New Year. Alright, start the video. Hey guys, Blazing here. Welcome to my analysis on the T1 AP Plasma Grenade. The T1 AP, which stands for Type 1 Anti-Personnel, is a plasma grenade that is a dangerous hand-thrown weapon utilized by Covenant forces and is made by Iru Iru Armory. This grenade is typically used by grunts and elite soldiers as both a thrown anti-infantry and anti-vehicle weapon. The grenade is spherical in shape and straightforward in design with the activation switch located on the orange colored area of the grenade. Above the activation pad is a Forerunner glyph. The T1 AP's casing is made of smart matter programmed to stick to infantry targets. When primed, the T1 AP starts to vent its coolant. After the coolant has been discharged, the plasma generator inside destabilizes and the grenade detonates after a few seconds. The grenade contains some type of internal mechanism that allows it to distinguish between targets and the environment. It will stick to soldiers and vehicles, but not a tree or a wall. However, further study indicates that the grenade relies on heat signatures to distinguish targets. Once something has been stuck with the grenade, there is no normal way to remove it. You can carry up to two plasma grenades on you, and your grenade throw rate is 1.15 seconds. This grenade is set on a timer as soon as it hits the floor, and doesn't really bounce much on surfaces. However, as mentioned before, this grenade can stick to other players and vehicles. Moving on to the blast radius test, I found the kill radius to be around 3.03 meters. The shield break radius I found to be around 3.75 meters. And the full blast radius I got was around 6.09 meters. Funny enough, this grenade does have impact damage, which means if someone is very low in health, they can die a very embarrassing death. Now before I sign off this video, there's one more special technique you can do with these grenades. That technique is called the Instasplode. The Instasplode is a tech that involves throwing one plasma grenade that acts as a setup for the second plasma grenade. Once the first plasma grenade is about to blow, throw the second plasma grenade in the trajectory you want it to go, and the first plasma grenade will explode, launching the second plasma grenade that was thrown, which results in instantly exploding. Hence, the Instasplode. Now I could go into further detail about this tech, as there is a little more to it, and a history with a particular individual who used this tech in pro play but that is the main definition you need to know about the Instasplode. A couple other things I need to mention is that if you guys notice, the grenade throw rate was different from my frag analysis video. This is because I ran the footage through my editing software so I can see the exact value, 
and that result was 1.15 seconds. The other thing I want to mention is that the shield break radius on my frag video analysis is actually wrong. If you notice, I didn't have the weird stools and cone set up this time. This is because I guess elevation can alter blast radius values. So I retested the frags this time when they hit the floor and the result I got was actually 3.3 meters. Both the grenade throw rate and shield break radius for my frag video analysis will be updated in the description. Alright guys, that's all I wanted to say. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and share this video with your friends. Links to my stuff are down in the description, and hey, if you enjoy the content on this channel, consider subscribing, as I want to try and hit 1,000 subscribers this year. To be honest, I don't know what content is going to get me there, but let's see what I come up with going into the new year. And until next time, peace. Bomb. Bomb taken.